ते देख स्वलीला भीरानंद कुंडे स्वघोष निमजंत तदीयेशु भक्ताजिता तदीयेशु भक्ताजिता पुनः प्रेम तस्तृतिबंदे नमाश्वर सच्चिदानंदूप लसत्कुंडल गोकुले ब्रजम वर देव मोक्ष मोक्षवधि नाचन्यम व्रणे हम वेशादपीहा वर देव मोक्ष मोक्ष वधि नाचन्यम व्रणे हम वेशादपीहा इदम ते वुर्नाथ गोपाल बालम इदम ते वुर्नाथ गोपाल बालम सदा में मनस्या वेरास्त के मन ये नमाश्वर सच्चिदानंदूप लसत्कुंडल गोकुले ब्रजम इदम ते मुखा भोज मत्यंत नील इदम ते मुखा भोज मत्यंत नील व्रतम कुंतले स्निग्ध रखते गोप्या मुहुशुंबित बिंब रक्ता धरम में मुहुशुंबित बिंब रक्ता धरम में मनस्या विरास्त मलम लक्ष लाभे नमाश्वर सच्चिदानंदूप लसत्कुंडल गोकुले ब्रजम नमो देवदामोदरानंद विष्णु प्रसिद्ध प्रभो दुख जालाब्धि मग्नम नमो देवदामो दरानंद विष्णु प्रसिद्ध प्रभो दुख जालाब्धिमग्नम कृपा दृष्टि वृष्टि दीन बतानु कृपा दृष्टि वृष्टि दीन बतानु ग्रहणेश मध्यशिद्रशा सच्चिदानंदूप लसत्कुंडल गोकुले ब्रजम कुबेरात्मजो बध मृत्युवयाचित भक्ति भाजो प्रतोचा कुबेरात्मजो बध मृत्युवया तया मोचित भक्ति भाजो कृतोच तथा प्रेम भक्ति स्वका मे प्रय्छ तथा प्रेम भक्ति स्वका मे प्रय्छ न मोक्षे ग्रह मेस्ति दामोदरे नमाश्वर सच्चिदानंद 
ಸುಂದರೂಪಂ ನಮೇಶ್ವರ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಂದೂಪ ಲಸತ್ಕುಂಡಲ ಗೋಕುಲೆ ಬ್ರಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ 
Mother Yashoda, the mother of Lord Krishna, she naturally wants to feed best the best food to her son. So she arranges to have some special. There are some very good cows. You know, some cows give a little milk. Some cows give more milk. And some cows, the milk will be very creamy and thick. Some cows, maybe the milk will be thinner, more watery. Depends on also the grass which they eat, what they're eating. I was in Nathdwara some time back. Have you ever, anybody been to Nathdwara? Yeah, quite a few have been to Nathdwara. So Nathdwara, uh, they paint pictures of Krishna there. And one of the artists told me, that in order to paint the dhoti of Lord Krishna, you know that dhoti of Krishna, it's that beautiful yellow color, golden yellow color. And the artist told me that they will, they will feed the cow mango leaves, only mango leaves. The cow will eat mango leaves for a month and then they get the urine from that cow and they use that urine to make the yellow color. Krishna's dhoti. <laughs> so Mother Yashoda, she had a group of cows also who were giving the very nice, very sweet, rich milk. Mother Yashoda was giving these cows lotus flowers to eat. They were eating the lotus flowers and they were giving the nice, thick, creamy milk. So Mother Yashoda, at the same time, she has to take care of her child. She has a young child to take care of. And children in India, especially in the villages, you know, the, the mother will breastfeed the child. They like to give the breast milk to the children. 
and the mother will give breast milk to the children and what, until the child is three or four years old. And Lord Krishna is drinking the breast milk of his mother as he grows up. He's enjoying that milk of his mother. But his mother, at the same time, she's preparing these cows and she has very nice milk from the cows. There are three reasons why Mother Yashoda was so concerned about milk for Lord Krishna. One is she loves Lord Krishna very much. This is her son and she wants to feed him the best. Another reason is she's a devotee and she's going to offer it to Lord Narayan. That's what she wants. After she offers it to Lord Narayan, she'll give the prasad to her son. And the third reason is she's worried about her son going to the neighbor's houses because Lord Krishna is a bit of, he gets mischievous, he's quite mischievous sometimes. And he'll go off to the neighbor's houses and you steal their butter, get their milk. You will say, my mother's milk's no good. Your milk is better than my mother's. So Lord Krishna, Mother Yashoda doesn't want Krishna complaining about the milk which she gives him. So she tries to give him the best milk. But well, one day it happened, and this particular day, when this event happened, we said this it was the Diwali day. It, this auspicious, in this auspicious month on the day of Diwali, Mother Yashoda was cooking the milk. You get the milk from the cow, you have to boil it. It's important you boil it first. You don't usually drink the milk straight from the cow. You should boil it first. So Mother Yashoda was boiling the milk. The, and it was the milk from these very special cows. It was a very best, sweetest, richest milk which she was cooking. But at the same time, Krishna came to his mother Krishna had been resting and he just woke up and he, he, he sees his mother and he wants, to, he wants to be fed. He wants to drink her milk. So the mother Yashoda has so much love for Krishna, she picks up Krishna and begins to feed him. But then she remembered she put the milk on the stove. And so she has to put down baby Krishna and go off and take care of the milk. And when she did that, that made Krishna angry. You know, when you have little children, if you don't please them, they'll get angry, right? They get sometimes anger, tantrums and fits. <laughs> Young children sometimes, they don't get what they want. So Lord Krishna is playing the part of the young child. And his, he was enjoying drinking his mother's milk, but she put him down to go and take care of this other milk. So Lord Krishna thinks, why she bothers about that milk? She should be taking care of me. Of course, when Mother Yashoda went to take care of the milk, it's because that milk is to give to Krishna. She is thinking of Krishna. Actually, Mother Yashoda, everything she does is for Krishna. But Lord Krishna is enjoying this wonderful rasa, the rasa of having a mother. Although he is the father of everyone, he enjoys having a mother. Just like we have a mother, we have a father, everybody has a mother and father, right? There's a saying like that. Janami janabi sabi pita matapai. Krishna guru nahimili bhaji hariyai. Everyone has a mother and father. Not everyone has guru or Krishna, but everybody has mother and father. That's nothing special. But of course, we, we do want to take care of mother and father. Krishna enjoys also have why Krishna thinks. Why shouldn't I also have a mother and father? Why everybody else has a mother and father? I don't. So Krishna enjoys also having a mother and a father. And his mother and father are Nanda and Yashoda. They're the best 
mother and father. They love Krishna the most, more than any other person. They love Krishna. Mother Yashoda can only think of Krishna as her son. Now that's different between Vasudev and Devaki. Vasudev and Devaki, they give Krishna appeared as their child. And when he appeared as their child, they offered <laughs> prayers to Krishna. You can read in Srimad Bhagavatam how Vasudev and Devaki both offer prayers to Lord Krishna because the Lord appeared in his forearm form. So they were offering prayers to him. However, when Krishna comes to Goku to the home of Nanda Maharaj, he's coming as a little child. And Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda, they don't offer prayers to Krishna because they only think of Krishna as their child. Vasudev and Devaki, they could understand Krishna was God. They actually did tapasya to get God as their child for three births. They did great austerities. And the Lord came as their child, three births. Krishna was the third birth. But Vas Nanda and Yashoda, they enjoy the childhood Leela. Vasudev and Devaki, they, get, they have the birth. But right after the birth, Krishna goes to Nanda Maharaj. He enjoys being with Nanda Maharaj and Yashoda and all the cows and all the gopis and everybody's there in Braja. So Krishna wanted to be there in Braja and enjoy there with all of those great devotees. So on this Diwali day, Mother Yashoda made Krishna angry by putting him down. So when Krishna got angry, what did he do? He broke the but he broke the pot which Mother Yashoda was churning the butter. Bridge Basi people, you know, we sometimes think they're poor. Actually, in the times of Lord Krishna, they were the wealthiest people. Having 900,000 cows means Nanda Maharaj was very wealthy. And from cows you get milk, and from milk you make butter, and of course cheese, and so many things. So Nanda Maharaj was not a poor person. Mother Yashoda was turning some of that milk into butter to give to her son. But Krishna, in his angry mood, he broke the pot and then began to distribute the butter to the monkeys. Let the monkeys have it. And then he think, he understands that Mother Yashoda is not going to be very happy with me. And so he moved away. He went to go off somewhere to hide himself. Mother Yashoda came back and saw that Krishna had broken the pot. And then she saw his footprints because the butter had spilled everywhere. So where, wherever he walked, he left butter footprints. So Mother Yashoda followed and she's, and at the same time, she was carrying the stick which she used to churn the butter. So Lord Krishna was sitting, feeding the butter to the monkeys. And then he saw his mother coming. And he saw she's got a stick in her hand. And he, he never saw his mother carry a stick like that before. So he became afraid. He thought, oh, mother's coming to beat me. So he got up and he ran. He ran away. And Mother Yashoda had to run after him. She says, come back, you little monkey. And Krishna said, well, if I'm a monkey, then I'll go and live in the forest. <laughs> she said, you're the king of thieves. Krishna said, nobody will steal your butter. Even the monkeys don't like your butter. 
<laughs> like this a joking word between Krishna and Mother Yashoda. Anyway, Mother Yashoda captured Krishna and then she's worried maybe he will go off to the forest. So she think I better tie him up. That's why she got the rope and she wants to tie him up. But initially the rope was not long enough. The rope was too short. So she got more rope, but still it was too short. She, she got more and more rope. It was never enough. Somehow the rope was just not enough to bind up Lord Krishna. <coughs> Mother Yashoda was becoming so bewildered. She thought, what is wrong? Why like this? And then Krishna agreed to let Mother Yashoda tie him up. Lord Krishna has inconceivable potencies. He's a magician, just like magicians, they can do inconceivable things. You know, they'll have the woman, they'll put the saw right through the woman and they'll show you two halves and how they, you know, they have some kind of power. So Lord Krishna, he's the supreme magician. He has the greatest magic powers. And Mother Yashoda, and she couldn't tie up Krishna because the whole universe is in Krishna. How can you tie up the whole universe? But then Lord Krishna agreed, let Mother Yashoda tie me up. And this way, Lord Krishna went on to another pastime where he was able to deliver the two sons of Kuvera. He knocked over two trees and from the trees two devas came out. So these devas had been blessed. They'd been cursed and at the same time blessed. They'd been cursed that they would become trees, but the blessing was that one day they will see the personality of Godhead and they will see his Leela. So the two sons of Kuvera came out from the trees and they offered their respects and worshiped Lord Krishna. And Lord Krishna forgave them for their foolish activities and told them, now you behave properly and go back to heaven. And in this way, Lord Krishna is performing his Damodar Leela. Mother Yashoda came, what happened? Who knocked over these trees? She was shocked, the big trees, huge trees. Arjuna trees are so big, very big and tall. Lord Krishna pulled them over with the mortar. Mother Yashoda said, my son? How is it possible my son could pull over these huge trees? And the other boys were watching. They told Mother Yashoda, yes, he did. And two demigods came out from the trees and they were worshipping Krishna. Mother Yashoda, Mother Yashoda heard this. She thought, how is it possible? Oh, you're saying foolish things. Come on, it's only my son. Trees must have fallen over. Maybe there was a wind. I didn't hear fear. How could they fall over? I don't know. But it couldn't have been my son. Because Mother Yashoda can only think of Krishna as her child. So that is the highest love, you know. A mother will love her son. They will always want to do the best, take care of their son. Even the son is grown up. You still think, my son, you know, you're still thinking. The mother's thinking. The boy's not thinking, my mother. But, <laughs> but the mother's thinking of the, the boy as son, her son. So Lord Krishna enjoyed this wonderful exchange with Mother Yashoda. Mother Yashoda loves Krishna so much and she's showing us how to take care of Krishna, offering milk and butter, these kind of things. There are some people like uh, Pushtimar, they will worship Krishna in the form of the child and they will offer these kind of milk sweets and yogurt and cheese and butter. <coughs> We, in Krishna consciousness, we worship Radha Krishna, where Krishna's grown up. He's not the young child anymore. He grows up. That's 
taught to us by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that the supreme form of Krishna is, is this, this Kishore where he's grown up. Mother Yashoda, she likes the childhood. And we see when Krishna grows up a bit, he goes away from Vrindavan. He doesn't stay in Vrindavan. He goes off to Mathura and then to Dwarka. So this month we're remembering this pastime of Lord Krishna and we offer a light, offering a lamp to Lord Krishna at this time. It's very special, very powerful. Just by offering a, a lamp to Krishna, then you're showing that ignorance is conquered by knowledge, just as the darkness is conquered by light. So evil is conquered by goodness. The Diwali day is a festival of light, right? The festival, Lord Rama, it's coming back to Ayodhya and the, all the Dambasis are welcoming Lord Rama with lights. We are offering our lamps to Lord Krishna, Lord Damodar, and remembering this pastime with Mother Yashoda. There's an interesting story about one girl, a young girl, who was born in a very royal family. Her name was Lalitika. So Lalitika was very, very attractive, very beautiful young girl, born in a very wealthy family. And every day during the month of Kartik, she would put lamps everywhere. She would put lamps all over. Did you did you put lights around your house for Dubai? Yeah, I saw in Dubai lamps were everywhere. So many people. Everyone had lights hanging everywhere. Very decorative. So this girl Lalitika, she would light thousands of lamps, and she'd do it every day during this month of Karti. She would put lamps in the doorway. She put lamps at the temple. She put lamps along, along the river bank. She put lamps wherever she could find a place. So people were surprised. Why are you putting so many lamps? So she told them, she said, you should understand who I was in my previous life. Then you would know why I'm putting lamps. So they asked her, who were you in your previous life? She said, I was a little mouse. She said, I was a little mouse and my previous life, but as a little mouse, I was very hungry. I was living in a temple and I was very hungry. And so it happened, somebody offered a lamp. They had a ghee wick and they burned the ghee wick. The ghee wick was made of cotton. So I went, I was eating the ghee from the cotton. I was eating that cotton. I was so hungry. But what happened was while I was eating the ghee wick, a big cat appeared. And so I, I ran away from the big cat. I ran away and I took the ghee wick with me. I was holding the ghee wick, but the ghee wick was burning and it set fire to my the mouse's fur and the mouse became the mouse became a blaze and she said at that time in the form of the mouse i was in i was on fire and i was in front of the deity so she said i died my body burned but burned when i was jumping and dancing because i was on fire i was jumping and then I, I give up my body in the temple during that month of Kartik. So she said, just that one light got me this birth, that now I'm born as a princess and very beautiful and everything. She said, if I got so much for that one light, then now I'm offering thousands of lights. <laughs> and so, 
You want to know what is the supreme benefit you can get, right? You don't just want to be a princess in a rich family. That's not the real goal. You want to get out of this material world, to get free from birth and death. That's the greatest thing you can get. So when we're offering our lamps, we want to think like that. We can ask Lord Krishna that if you think I'm worthy, then please take me out of this world of birth and death. Take me back to be with you. That's our real home. We say back home, back to God. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Are there any questions? Okay. Are we going to do Dhammada? Yeah.